we'll guide you through how to download and install a minimap mod in Minecraft 1.21.6. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Doing this is really convenient as you can then go and have a little map in the top of your screen. So to get started, let's go and quit the game. We're now on the desktop and what you need to do is go and open up a web browser of your choice. I'll use Chrome, but it doesn't matter. And you want to go and search for something called journey map. And then you can add Minecraft to the end just to make sure we get the right one. We can come to Curse Forge at the top here. Then what you can do is go and press files. Of course, you can scroll down and read about it. Now, what we need to do is make sure we find the version for 1.21.6 and for Fabric, which we can see here. Now, what we can do is go to the right here, press the three dots, and we can go and press download file. Now, go and wait for this to download. We now have it, and what we need next is a mod loader. So we went and got Journey Map for Fabric, so we need to go and get Minecraft Fabric, which allows us to load mods. So search for it and come to fabricmc.net. You can go and press download, and you can then press download for Windows. It will. If you use a Mac, you can go and get the universal jar. What we also need to get is the Fabric API as well to add into the mod folder. So click there. You can then go and press files. We can then go and filter this for 1.21.6. Here it is. We can come to the right and press the three dots and press download file. Now wait for this to download. We've downloaded what we're going to need, but before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to place for a Minecraft server, so if you're in need of one, check them out. There'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. And at the moment, you can get a discount as well. You can go and scroll down and you can start checking out some of their great features like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, keeping your server safe. One of my favorites is 24 seven servers and support. I mean, you can get help anytime you need it for your always online server. There are many others as well, which you can go and check out. Now let's continue with the guide though. What you need to do is go and open up your file explorer and come to your downloads. So to get started, we're gonna install fabric. So find the installer and double click on it. It should then go and pop up Make sure the version is set to 1.21.6. And then what we can do is go and press install and it's now installed. Press OK and we can close out of it. And what we then need to do is go and open up the launcher. Go to the top and you can press installations and scroll down and you'll go and see the different fabric loaders here. Go to the right and you can press the folder icon and you can then scroll down and go and find the mods folder, which is just here. If you don't have one, you can go and create one. Now what we need to do is we need to come into our file explorer and come to our downloads. Drag in the Fabric API and you can also drag in Journey Map as well and you can then go and close out of your file explorers. Come over to the Fabric Loader and you can press play to the right and it should launch. And you'll go and see in the top right, we now go and have the map. If we go and press J, we'll go and get this pop up here. And you've got lots of different options at the top here you can go and use and more at the bottom as well. For example, options and there's lots of different things you can go and adjust. So go through it and you can configure it. But personally, I just like to go and have it in the top right while I go and explore. If you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. I look forward to help you again in the future with more useful guides like this. And if you're in need of a Minecraft server, make sure you go and check out Apex. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and I look forward to help you again in the future.